What's going on, swim fans? Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to swim with a snorkel. That's right, we're gonna dive deep, pun intended. With that snorkel, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what a snorkel is, the benefits of using a snorkel, how to use a snorkel. I even have a snorkel and a couple of them right here with me. We're gonna share three different swim sets that incorporate the snorkel. I'm gonna walk through a beginner, intermediate, and advanced version. So if you guys wanna see what that's all about, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, because here at My Swim Pro, I help you take your swimming to the next level. So if you want to swim faster and smarter than ever before, make sure you subscribe, like this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you use a snorkel, if you have a snorkel, and what other questions you might have. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. What is a snorkel? Well, a snorkel is just a breathing device that is used in the water. It's not just a device, it's a tool, and it's a tool that does a couple different things. So I have a few different snorkels to show the what it looks like. Here we are, I have, uh, a few different snorkels, I have three. Now this snorkel, the blue one, is what you might see when you go snorkeling. So if you wanna go look at the fun fish, if you wanna see coral reef, and this is the most common snorkel that someone might use in a non-competitive or training environment. And it's very simple. You basically clip it to your goggles and you stick it in your mouth. And if you like my beautiful illustration, check that out. Give me a like if you like my, uh, my whiteboard drawing skills. And you're normally going to strap them onto some giant goggles that are actually going to cover your nose as well. And these are great. But for the scope of this video, you're probably here for swim training, technique, and all that good stuff. So you're probably not going to use one of these. These are fun, but not for our purposes here. Now, I have two other snorkels that are called center mount snorkels. That means that the tube that you actually breathe through is going to go right down the middle of your head, and it's not going to interfere with your actual swimming and it's positioned in a more hydrodynamic way. So I have two different snorkels. Um, this one that is red, it's a little bit more adjustable on the headpiece and you can do a little bit more uh, granular adjustment there. You stick it in your mouth, it's rubber, you get the chlorine, kill that bacteria. This snorkel on the other hand is a little bit more fixated and you can't really change the angle, but all snorkels, or most of them, should allow you to move up and down based on the size of your head, just to position it right on your forehead and make sure it feels very, very comfortable. So we'll reference those in a little bit, but that's really what a snorkel is. Now let's talk about why you would want to use a snorkel in the first place. And is it a bad thing to use a snorkel? And how much should you use a snorkel to actually see any measurable benefit from the snorkel? So to understand that, we have to understand the benefits. There's two main reasons why you would use a snorkel. The first one has to do with technique. So when you have the snorkel, you don't really have to think about breathing. And so you can focus, when you have this thing on, you can focus on keeping your eyes and head position still. You're looking at the bottom of the pool and you can focus on elements of your technique that you're not able to focus on when you're breathing. This is huge if you're in a, in a 25 meter or 50 meter pool, you got a full length pool. Think about how many times you have to breathe. If you breathe every two strokes and you're relatively efficient, you're breathing 15 to 20 times in one length of an Olympic sized swimming pool. When you have a snorkel, you don't have to breathe at all because you're breathing through the tube. So you don't have to rotate your head to breathe. As a result, you can focus on rotation, hand position, body position, head position, and it makes it a dream to do different drills and work on different elements of your technique that are really just not as simple when you have to focus on breathing. So that's one of the core benefits of swimming with a snorkel. The second primary benefit is breath control and improving your aerobic capacity. And speaking of improving your aerobic capacity, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, AeroFit. If you're really committed to improving your breath control, certainly the snorkel will help, but there's still more that you can do. The AeroFit Breathing Trainer helps you improve your breath efficiency, anaerobic threshold, and vital lung capacity, which will give you the edge that you need to get faster in all four strokes and push your underwaters even further. You start with a guided vital lung capacity test in the AeroFit Sport app, and then you'll begin a swimming specific training program that takes just five to 10 minutes per day. After about four weeks of training with AeroFit, I was able to increase my vital lung capacity by over 25%. The app is super easy to use and it gives you real-time feedback. It feels like a video game that you can actually control with your breath. Now, I've talked a lot about AeroFit on this channel and how it's helped me, and I really think that you guys are gonna see some huge benefits from using the breathing trainer as well. Head over to the link in the description below to get 15% off the AeroFit breathing trainer. Now, this discount is just for the MySwimPro community, and I know you guys are going to love it. 
Thanks again to AeroFit for sponsoring this video and also being a sponsor for our channel and MySwimPro. Make sure you check it out. So we've talked about technique, we've talked about breath control. Let's highlight that with a few more bullet points. So we know that it focuses, allows you to focus on technique. You can improve your aerobic capacity. And here's the kicker. If you wanna see the benefits of aerobic capacity, you need to incorporate the snorkel a fair amount. So it's not okay to just swim 125 meter distance and call it a day and you're gonna all of a sudden increase your aerobic capacity. You might be able to work on your technique in a shorter duration, but if you wanna see that aerobic capacity change and improve your breath control and comfort in the water, you're gonna have to do 30 to 50% of the workout with the snorkel. And not only that, you think about your volume on a weekly basis, I would say 30 to 50% of your workout volume over the course of a week should be done with a snorkel. And you're really gonna see a significant lift in your aerobic capacity in the water. So that's something that you can do with that uh, AeroFit breath trainer as well. But it's important to remember 30 to 50%, and we'll talk about that with these example workouts. Now these example workouts are something you might find in the My Swim Pro app. So the My Swim Pro app, personalizes these workouts. I have three different skill levels. I have beginner, intermediate, advanced. In the My Swim Pro app, we have five different levels. Now I'm gonna show you how to incorporate the snorkel inside of these workouts, and then you're gonna see the progression between beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now let's talk about the beginner workout, and I'll set the context for the next three. If you notice here at the bottom, for each of these three workouts, I have the total distance, the snorkel distance, so how much of the workout is done with a snorkel, and what that equals as a percent of the total workout volume. So the first workout we have is only 1,200 meters, and it's gonna start with a warm-up main set and cool down. The warm-up is a 200 freestyle, then we're gonna have 425s kick with the snorkel. You'll know we're using the snorkel because I underlined with the green line here, and that's how you see where we're using the snorkel. In the My Swim Pro app, we have great iconography, so you can actually see when we recommend using fins, paddles, snorkel, pull buoy, all that good stuff. We also have different colors for different effort levels as well. Here, we're gonna keep it simple, 425s kick. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do I use a snorkel when I'm kicking? few different ways that you can do that. I recommend you put the snorkel on and you do streamline kick on your stomach. You can add fins, but basically you're in a streamline position, the most important word in swimming. And you're basically just gonna hold your body in streamline and you're gonna kick for 425s. So that's our beginner workout. Then you're gonna go four, 450s, drill on the first 25, swim on the second 25. The drill we're gonna do on all three of these workouts is a simple three strokes, 12 kicks. So you take three strokes, then you're on your side and you're gonna balance with that arm extended for 12 kicks and you don't have to worry about breathing because your body's already in the position. Don't turn your head to breathe, keep your eyes on the bottom and breathe through the snorkel. We're gonna move into the main set where we're gonna have a 100 pull that's build and then we're gonna do 350s freestyle descend. After that we have a 50 backstroke and then 425s cool down. We're gonna do the main set two rounds and as we go through this main set you're going to try and increase your speed a little bit the first round's a little bit easier the second round is a little bit faster and actually before we get into the intermediate workout i just realized a mistake here we're not going to use the snorkel on the 100 pull so that gets our total distance to 700 with the snorkel and the rest is without the snorkel as well so here we go intermediate workout we have a 300 freestyle followed by 825's kick in the same fashion. You're gonna put the snorkel on and you're gonna do streamline and kick. Then you're gonna go 450's drill swim, three strokes, 12 kicks, and then swim on the way back. Now the main set, we're gonna go two rounds where we go a 200 pull, followed by 450's freestyle descend, that's with the snorkel. It's gonna be taxing on your body because you're getting faster, but you're breathing restricted through a tube. And then you have 100 backstroke, uh, just to cool things out. You're going two rounds of that. That total is 2,000, followed by 1,200 of that is a snorkel. So that's 60% of the workout is with the snorkel. And as we move to the advanced version of this workout, we're doing even more percentage-based with the snorkel. Total volume is also increasing, but as a percentage, the amount with a snorkel is increasing as well. We got a 500 free, 850s kick, 650s drill swim. The main set is a 300 pull. We're gonna build that and four 100s freestyle descend. We've got a 100 backstroke easy without the snorkel, and we're gonna repeat the main set three rounds. The cool down is 850s 
freestyle. Now I know we've got a lot on the board. We have different brackets and we have set groups and we have different uh, color coordination here. If that's all too advanced for you, no problem. Just remember the snorkel has two main benefits. The first is by improving your technique, by focusing on keeping your eyes on the bottom, and you can focus independently on all the other components of the stroke. The second value of the snorkel is that breath control. Remember, because you're breathing through a tube, it's a restricted channel of air. When you go out for a run and you wanna breathe, you can breathe as much as you want. When you swim, you're already restricted because your face is in the water. With a snorkel, you're restricting yourself further. And sometimes you'll even see swimmers and coaches and some snorkels that'll actually restrict the amount of air that you are able to take in. So you'll see something like this, where half of the snorkel at the top is actually restricted further to make it even more difficult. So you're training your body to achieve under those dire circumstances. Now, you should be careful with the word dire, you know, don't push yourself to that level, but just keep in mind technique, breath control, and really incorporate the snorkel as frequently as you can where it makes sense. Don't do the entire workout with a snorkel and build your way up. As you notice, we started with 25s and we worked our way up to 300s with the snorkel. Hope you guys found value in this video. Like I said, if you want structured workouts just like this that have personalization, they have set groups, they have interval dynamically changing to how fast you swim. We also have amazing iconography that you can actually see where to use different equipment on different sets and how it impacts the workout. Make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app for iPhone, Android, sync with the Apple Watch, sync with your Garmin watch. Get started today. Links are all down below. Thanks for watching. Happy swimming and have a great day. Bye.